and NTUC Secretary General Lim Suise has responded to reports where presidential hopeful Tan Kin Lian explained why he was asked to leave NTUC income, which he had helmed for nearly 30 years. Mr Tan had said that the board wanted NTUC to be more commercial, whereas he wanted NTUC to be more cooperative. Now, Mr Lim said he has no doubts NTUC has never lost focus of its social mission of doing good and in supporting workers. He said the NTUC cooperative's aim is to be competitive so that they can continue to serve the people. I was puzzled. I was actually quite puzzled by what the, Mr Tan Kilim said about that the, that the board wanted the cooperatives to become more commercial because uh, to the best of my knowledge, yeah, uh, I think to become more commercial, to become more professional are two different things. Uh, my understanding is that the, the board has always wanted NTUC income to become more professional in a sustainable manner. Over the second half of my career, I had to struggle with a few key members of the board and some union leaders on the question of the privatisation of NTUC income. This followed the privatisation of the cooperative running the taxi service. I felt strongly that NTUC income should not follow this route and that the privatisation would be detrimental to its one million policyholders. Mr Tan also said he was being unfairly criticised for a few bad investments, in particular Siputra Mall and Club Nuanza, which caused losses of about $30 million. But it was more than offset by over $1 billion of investment gains from other property and equity investments. Mr Tan said the influence of the trade union directors diminished over the years as more directors were taken from the private sector and as such didn't understand the cooperative principles so passionately.